Hey everybody, it's Dynamic Math back here. We're going to take a peek at Newton's Law of Cooling. And Newton's Law of Cooling simply describes um, the relationship between the temperature of a hot object that enters a surrounding medium or a room that's much cooler than it, or somewhat cooler than it, right? I mean, if a hotter object enters a cooler room, right, what's going to happen? The coolness of the room is going to rub off on the object. The, the hotness of that uh, hot object is not going to... Uh, you know, rub off on the surrounding room. For example, if you take a pot of boiling water off the stove, right? What's going to happen? Well, the room is not going to get hotter. The, 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 the water, the boiling water is going to cool off. So um, with these two applets you see here in this GeoGebra file, you uh, have two applets actually. You have one where a hotter object enters a cool room or another scenario where a cooler object enters a room that's much, uh, much hotter than it. Okay, so basically, uh, if we, we'll just take a peek at one of them here, the hotter object entering the cooler room for the sake of illustration. This applet can be used within your calculus class if you are a student who is currently studying differential equations, or if you're a pre-calc student, Algebra 2 student, who is simply uh, applying your skills at solving exponential equations, right, using logarithms, or uh, simply evaluating exponential functions for certain inputs, well, this applet is to serve as a reference for you to check your work after. By no means uh, was this applet created for you to uh, simply just, hey, there's the answer, I'm done. No, you still have to do the work to solve the problem, but you can actually make sense of your work here and actually check to see, uh, check the numerical accuracy of your work here. So uh, notice with this applet here, you, uh, this maroon point uh, is the initial temperature of the object. You can adjust the initial temperature of the object here. In this case, we could put it at 1, I think, or you can go to the text box up here, you can type it in. This point and that text box are connected here. So let's make it 140 degrees, just for the sake of illustration. Now what's the temperature of the surrounding medium? You can, uh, in this case I put 32 degrees, but you can adjust that with, with the slider here, or uh, you can just simply enter a value. We'll keep it at the fixed 32 initially, right? So, but usually in any one of these problems you have a clue. Like after so many minutes you measure the temperature and it's so many degrees. Well, in this case that's what these input boxes are for, which correspond to this point right here. So, let's suppose, uh, let's suppose we start off at 140 degrees, we enter a much cooler room at 32 degrees, pretty cold, right? It's going to cool off pretty quickly in the very beginning, but then the rate at which it cools is going to slow down. Okay? So let's suppose that after, for, for example, two minutes, the temperature of the object is hypothetically 125 degrees, right? So uh, this is what it would look like here. Now I, I could change that by messing around with the black point, but I'm just going to keep it fixed at 2, 125 degrees. So now any application problem that you get, or you have to solve after that, you know, sometimes you may ask you to say, hey, write, uh, write an equation that, you know, satisfies blah, 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 or uh, um, after how much time passed, this purple point here is connected to this purple input box. It'll show you the approximate temperature of the object after so much time, say five minutes, right? Or you can slide it yourself. Or, you know, you may have questions that ask you to substitute in for the y value, or in this case the a of x value, and say, gee, how much time uh, must pass in order for the temperature of the object to be, I don't know, let's say 100 degrees. So you could type in 100 there, and after you actually uh, solve the problem algebraically, you can come to this applet and check, well, it's approximately 6 in 188 thousandths of a minute, but you see what I'm saying. So again, this applet can be used for reference when solving differential equation. There's the solution, that function you should get with this specific condition that the problem may have entailed. Or if you're a pre-calc algebra 2 student and just are simply given the equation to start with, and you have, um, uh, or basically you're given a couple details here, uh, pretty much. You have the initial temperature and you could type in the details. It'll spit out in a, a model that's equivalent to maybe the model you have in your textbook, right? And then uh, you could use this to uh, figure out the temperature after so much time or how much time does it take to get to a certain temperature. So again, this applet is multi-purpose use, so use it uh, to your advantage. Of course, uh, again, it doesn't replace your learning, but it's, it was designed to help enhance your learning and uh, to, help form, to help you formatively assess yourself to see how you're solving problems like this. Thank you for watching.